Hi, in this recording I'm going to show you how to put two 11 ounce mug templates for sublimation on one US letter size piece of paper. That's 11 by 8.5 for the uninitiated in, in inches. Okay, now what we've started with here is the piece of paper. It's as simple as that. The document set up when you're creating it is 11 inches by 8.5 inches. The DPI is 72. And it's not in portrait mode, it's in landscape mode and it's anchored in the center. Not for any good reason, but because it is in this case. Prefer embedded uh, images so you can move the image around then, the result around, without having to worry where the images are. You don't have to put them in a separate directory. They're just embedded in the document. It's a very small document. Now I won't click OK because it's already created. You can see it there. And there's our transparent new image. 11 inches by 8.5. Now what we do next is put two rectangles on there. There's the first rectangle and you can see it's a white rectangle with a black border. Now there's our second rectangle it's a white rectangle again with a black border and you can see that the black border is there that's the the path if you like or the outline of the white shape now we don't want that there eventually but for now I'll leave it there so you can see it now in that image there that's the exact size for printing a sublimation um, print onto a ceramic mug an 11 ounce mug now what the images I've got on there are a couple of Islamic symbols and there they are. I've simply turned on the layers and you can see them there. Uh, my font is popping up there. We don't want messages popping up on the screen but there they go. Everyone's used to that these days. So there's our document and it's all ready to go. Or is it? Now if you print those out on a printer, you'll have that symbol there on the bottom and that symbol there on the top one. You'll, you'll be printing two sublimation prints for two mugs. Very good. But you can put any symbol you like in there, any image you like in there. You can put photographs of your mother's, photographs of your kids. You can put whatever you like in there. Just at the moment, I've got two Islamic symbols in there. And they're, well, Arabic, uh, I guess more appropriately than Islamic. But that's up to you. If you know what they mean, good. If you don't, that's fine because they're very nice symbols. Now what we don't want in here is the black border because when you print that out for sublimation, you don't want the black border printing. So select the white rectangle and you can see it's selected there. Then go up here, make sure the circle is selected, the path if you like, and click on no color. And you can see it changes to no color. Now go down to this one. This one's got the path on there again. Select no color. Now when you click that, as you can see, there is now no border. White won't print, of course, so you can print those out. However, if you want to be absolutely and positively sure that you don't have the white, that's simple. Just untick the white. Now there's your borders gone. It's going to make it a little hard to cut them out and put them in the right place, though. But there you go. And if you want, when you do cut them out, there's one, or come to cut them out, because you're on a large sheet of paper here, remember. You simply go back up there, make sure the circle, or the border if you like, is still selected, and just click on black. And you can see that puts the black border back. There's your circle. Now both rectangles have a black border. When you print them out, you can just trim that black border off if you like. How easy is that? And that's all you need to make two 11 ounce sublimation templates.
on one US letter sized piece of paper. Now you can see that those images are SVG over here, SVG, and that one there is SVG. That means you can make them any size you like without you losing fidelity, if you like. They won't go all jaggy and horrible and, and go pixelated. So long as you leave them as SVGs, that's what they'll stay as. You can make them any size without losing resolution. Very handy. Now that's all there is to it, except let's go and have a look up here. File, you can export it as a PNG file, or you can export it as PDF, either one. I'll cancel that, or you can go up here and you can go to File, and print. You can print directly to your printer. You can see the pinkish color there. The silly dog barking its head off. You can see the pinkish color. That's the printing area on this particular printer. Now all printers have different um, areas that they print. That's the edge there because I've got an A4 printer at the moment and this is a US letter size print job. So that's a little different. Okay, that's all there is to it. There's nothing else we can do on there at the moment. Let's center that. That's good. Now you have a sublimation template that you can use for almost any image. 